What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I've got a quick one for you today. I noticed the other day when I was out uh, flying my Mini 2 for another video that DJI has released a new firmware version. So it's uh, nothing crazy today. We're gonna go through, quickly cover what they've added or what they've changed on the drone and uh, kind of go from there. So firmware update, uh, we are up to version 01.02.0300. This is a 50 megabyte update, so like I said, nothing too crazy, and uh, just a few fixes took place. So first, they've added the ability to orient the drone while returning to its home. Now, I was playing around with this, and I noticed that this will only work after it has completed its ascent stage. So while the drone is ascending, you still cannot yaw the aircraft. Everything is in a locked fixed position until it gets to its set altitude. And of course that altitude is uh, either default 300 and like 30 feet uh, or whatever it is that you set it within your settings. Now, after it has reached that uh, altitude and starts actually returning home, this is when it unlocks the ability to yaw. So now you can, uh, you can yaw the aircraft, but you still cannot roll the aircraft left or right, but you can change at least uh, the yaw. Now just keep in mind, any downward motion or downward movement of either the left or right joystick is going to cancel that return to home. So that hasn't changed. Now Go the next home. couple of things I never encountered on my Mini 2, but first one of them was the, uh, apparently there was an issue, a rare issue, where the gimbal would shake during return to home. They fixed that issue and then apparently the aircraft may drift in some fashion during the return to home phase as well. Like I said, I never encountered that with my Mini 2. I don't know how rare the issue was, but according to this update, they've gone through and they have fixed that. Now I've gone through all three of my batteries after this update, everything on my Mini performed as it should, no signal issues, no choppy video footage or anything like that. Everything worked out really well. And uh, if you are going to have issues or you do update and you do see some issues, you may want to uninstall the application and reinstall to clear out any type of bad cache. And that's all there is to it. Like I said, super simple video, not a whole lot of changes to the Mini 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to, of course, like, share, and subscribe. Those three things certainly help out our channel. Let me know what you guys think about this update down in the comments below. If you're having success with it, if it's causing more issues, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.